ask them that what is it all about because I said to them, look, I don't know what is that you guys are talking about, so can you explain to me? There was a gentleman that was talking to me nicely, but then there was another woman who came out and she said to me, oh, you know, all these white people are saying that how all the ones they, they, uh, they, they are dangerous. So I said to her, I'm a Pakistani, and as in Pakistani, I understand Afghans more. So what I have said to them is that I believe, not all, but majority of the Afghans, yes, yeah. they are dangerous. The moment I said that, because I disagree with her, she seen me, the way I look, she thought, oh, he's going to be on our side because he's not white. So when I said to them, yes, majority of Afghans, they are, uh, you know, dangerous, you yeah. know, and uh, maybe, we, yeah, maybe we shouldn't let them in. You know, that's what I said. And the moment I said that, she turned around, she called me racist. She started walking around me. I got everything recorded as well. And she was just calling me all sorts. And I said to her, when was the last time you actually visited or lived yeah, in Pakistan? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know Afghans better than me. I'm yeah, a Pakistani. Yeah. And she was like, oh, I don't care, you're a racist, you're a fascist, you're this and that. And then I said to her, she looked at me, she said, oh, what about the, the, the uh, immigrants coming inside? I said, I'm an immigrant myself, but I came illegally. Yeah. Illegal immigration, yes, I got a big problem with it. As a legal immigrant, yeah. I know when you come into this country as a legal immigrant, you have to work your way up. Yeah. When yeah. you come yeah. here illegally on a bloody boat, you get everything for free. You get the housing, you get everything. Yeah. But for me, yeah, yeah, yeah. as a legal immigrant, I get no benefits, zero benefits, because I have to work my way up. And the, if I were to lose my job today, I'm not going to get anything back, even though I've been here for eight years, i worked my whole life. Because if you don't work in this country as a legal migrant, you get no help. No. So see, I work, and I'm not saying anything wrong with it, because I choose to come to the country. Yeah, yeah, you guys yeah. didn't beg me to be here. I came here because I wanted to come here. So I wanted to be an asset to the country, yeah, yeah. rather than coming here and be like, guess what, I'm here now. Where is my free money? Where is my free benefit? Where is my free housing? Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. do none of that. I came here legally, and I'm here legally, and I love it. I yeah. love this country. And the reason why I'm against that Right? I came here, first of all, I came here as an unbiased guy, so I don't listen to both sides. But the moment the way they've treated me, I was like, you know what, yes, now I'm against them. Yeah. I stand against them. And as a Muslim myself, I will tell them that, you know what, there's no way this is okay. There is no way this, uh, people coming in boat. And tell me one thing, guys, everybody, yeah? Prove me wrong. I'm not saying I'm right. I can be wrong. But if, if you got illegal people coming on a boat, right, they come through from, uh, if they're coming from the Middle East or anywhere. But if they are coming on a boat, coming through all these European channels, all these European countries. Yeah. Why don't you stay in France? Why don't you stay in Germany? Why don't you stay in, in Spain? All of these are good countries. You know, I know a lot of the people in this country will say, yeah, I would go and live in Spain. But guess what? You know why? I'll tell you why. Because they do not have the free, uh, free benefits that we have in this country. They're not coming here because they love the UK. They're not coming here, oh my God, UK is such a good country. No, no, no. They don't love the UK people. They come here for the benefits. And that's all. Yeah, and that was yeah. my argument with them. The thing is, the moment I say these things, please prove me wrong. Like I said, you can tell me I'm wrong by, by telling me, you know what, no, you said this, and the reason why you're wrong, I'll give you facts. Yeah, but yeah, I'm giving yeah. you facts. I know people living in the country for 40 odd days, they can't speak English. And I'm an immigrant, I can speak. I live in, can everybody understand what I'm trying yeah, to yeah, say? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, that was yeah. my argument. And that's why I literally, I'm just so, yeah. you know, I'm upset and I'm angry. Like, how is it? that they say, and I know in this country you got freedom of speech, right? you got freedom of opinion, you got freedom of everything. But the moment you disagree with that side, you're a racist. Yeah. Guess what, guys? I'm a racist. <laughs> we're all racist. Uh, you're all well, first of all, welcome to the club. Uh, you, you know, guys. because we're all racist over here. And I, I suppose you've, you know, you've experienced that, have you? <laughs> yeah, no, side. <laughs> but I, I can say that everybody's been very good to me. I'm yeah. just going to say that everybody's very good to me. Like on that side, the moment I opened my mouth and said what I've just told you guys here now, they literally was walking around me, the police were there. And I have to say the police have been very very good today yeah. they've been amazing and that's why they said to me you have all the right to be there but guess what me i don't want to be in that situation because i know it's not it doesn't stay till the protest it follows you outside because i live in this city mm. and they know a lot of people know who i am and they follow me around they, she said to me she's gonna put me on her youtube so i can get set because i said something i had a difference of opinion but, you know what I mean. it, and that's something you know that in, to be honest with you they can't they just shut them fascists come off the street that is very fascist of them exactly. you know they're going to attack you and trying to attack your livelihood yeah. Yeah. just for having a difference of opinion now you'd think <laughs> That if they were here for refugees, exactly. they would automatically be calling out the people who are taking advantage because the genuine refugees now are going to be struggling to get what they should be getting because it's being clogged up by people they're supporting. Would That's you agree? That, yeah, I 100% agree with that. And you can see a lot of the good refugees that come into the country, the first thing they would do, they would look for a job. Like I said, I'm an immigrant myself, but obviously I'm not a refugee. So yes, maybe I don't understand mm. what they're going through. But in all honesty, and in my opinion, the thing is I have seen people who just come here for the benefits. And yeah. you can tell that when 
I come to the country, I work, I pay my taxes, I'm putting something back into the country. When you get these refugees living here, living on free benefits and everything, and then yet you see them driving fancy cars, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got, literally, if I drive a fancy car, I have to lease that. I yeah. can't buy it. And yeah, I work yeah. full-time, and I've been working full-time for ages with my savings and everything else. I cannot buy a car at this day, and yeah, right? Yeah, I can't yeah. do it. But you'll see an asylum seeker come here, five, six years, asylum get approved, guess what? BMWs come out, Mercedes coming out. Oh, I don't want to speak English, but guess yeah. what? I will take your benefit. Yeah, but why are yeah, you here? Yeah, yeah. The basic thing you can do, abide by the country's law. The country, this is a Christian country. You should abide by the country's law. That is one thing. And second thing is, if you are in the country, be an asset to the country. Don't yeah. be a liability, which we see a lot, many of them. And this is what has happened. The, uh, and I would say the British people have been too lenient with these guys. And that's what has happened. Ten years ago, you let everybody in. Yeah, yeah, oh, we, we, we're nice. We're welcoming. British people are welcoming, but they're not stupid. Let me tell you that. Yeah. So don't take them as the, the leniency or the niceness to stupidity. That, that won't work. It's no, not okay. No. So yes, we need to make sure. The reason why I said that the illegal people can't come in the country, there should be a very basic rule. Yes, people say, you know, if you if you want to uh, claim asylum, how do you come here then? Yeah. Well, you don't come through a border, I tell you that. If you want to claim asylum, every country in this day and age have a British embassy. If yeah. they don't have yeah, a British yeah. embassy, I know. There are war torn countries, they don't have a British embassy. You're right. Why don't you go the way you always go from your uh, war torn country to a different country? Yeah. Like, you know, when you come to the UK on boat, you don't just arrive magically. You come through different cities and yeah, different countries. Yeah, yeah. So the first country or city you see is safe. Go to the British Embassy, give them your file. And if you are coming if you are coming from a war country, I can assure you, 100%, you will get the chance to come to this yeah, country. Yeah, yeah. Because you are legal. But if you are illegal, how do we know these people coming on the boats are not criminals? How do we know? Well, we how can we? Exactly, we yeah, don't. Yeah, but yeah. when you see, when I came to this country on a work visa, I had to do my fingerprints. Not only that, I had to get a report from my home country to show that I'm not a criminal in that country. So I understand that is yeah. fine. But the thing is, people like me will be an easier target for anybody because I am on the papers. Yeah. yeah, Yet yeah, you, yeah. If you can mug by me, if I come to you and I take your things, you know who I am, you give it to the police, I'll get caught within yeah, two, yeah. three hours. Illegal person do this to you, forget that. No you get no chance. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, no chance. Yeah, and that's yeah. my reason why I say I don't want these people coming in. But if they disagree with it, you know what, respectfully, come to me and talk to me. Yeah, they don't want to yeah. do that. Well, you're going to see soon, right? And you're welcome to come over with us because what we'll do in a bit is that we'll go over and we'll ask them, you know, just simple questions why are you here today? What are you trying but to But you know what? They, they, they're not going to speak to you. I can tell you the future. Yeah, I can yeah, see the future. Yeah, yeah. I know they're not no. going to speak to you. Well, they've, they've attacked us quite a few times. That's why all of their little placards have got sticks because they like to hit people with it. Yeah, but, and they do the thing with the flag as well. They will yeah, wave yeah, the flag yeah, in your yeah. face, but they stick it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think, yeah, yeah. I think, like I said, I'm not from this country, but what I know about the British, you know, the, the UK, is that you have a freedom of speech regardless of which, yeah. which side you're on, right? You've got freedom of speech. You have all the freedom to have your own opinion, which I think is get dissolved the moment you come into that side of the protest. Which I think is unfair. Yeah. Like, you know, I should have exactly the right that they have to say what they want to say, yeah. the same way I would want to say whatever. Yeah. But yeah. when I said what I said to them, and they got really hostile, there was actually a guy who was walking around there, he filmed everything, and I said to him, Do you have a YouTube? He doesn't have a YouTube channel, but he did say to me, Yeah, that was a bit unfair. And that lady, when I came here, I think you were here when the guy yeah, came yeah, and said, yeah, yeah. She was calling me a coconut. And, and she, she was, was calling you a coconut. Yeah, coconut. Which one was that? Uh, is, it the, is it the short lady with a bag? With a bag, yes. And who was there? I think, I think they were there. Somebody was there. Yeah, yeah. Were you here when she called me a coconut? Exactly. A coconut. So I am a racist for having an opinion, but she's not racist. Call me a coconut. Oh, <laughs> well, well, hello. Well, yeah, I'm sure yeah, um, no, welcome to the party, right? Oh, <laughs> we'll go over in a bit. Nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you. Nice to meet you. Take care. Legend. Thank you, man.